Welcome to my lecture online. Now this integral is slightly different from the one in the previous video. The difference here is that the coefficients of the x of the angles here are not equal to one another. In the previous video this was the sine of ax times the cosine of ax but now here we have mx and nx and m and n are assumed not to be equal to one another. They could be but they don't have to be. So what we need to do then is we need to come up with an identity and then we have to realize that the sine of a times the cosine of b, notice that the angles are different, can be written as one half times the sine of the sum of do, the two angles plus one half times the sine of the difference between the two angles, like that. So we're going to apply that identity over here Let's factor out the one half, and now we have the integral. Instead of the sine of mx times the cosine of mx, we're going to write that. So we're going to have the sine of the sum of the two angles, which is m plus n times x, plus the sine of the difference of two angles, which is m minus n times x, and the whole thing times dx. And actually, you probably want to put that inside. There we go. Okay, so now what we need to do is realize that when we try to integrate the sine of m plus n times x, we're going to need a proper differential. So we're going to do this. This is equal to 1 half times, and we're going to split it up into two separate integrals. So the first one is going to be the sine of m plus nx, times dx, and notice I left a little space in here, plus, and again leave some space, the integral of the sine of m minus nx, leave some room, times dx, like this. And notice why did I leave some room? Well, I did that because I'm going to need an m plus n here. So if the angle is m plus n times x, my differential will be m plus n times dx. So I need an m plus n times dx, which means I also have to divide by m plus n. And here, I'm going to need a m minus n times dx, and so I have to divide also by m minus n, like that. So now I'm ready to integrate these two. So this becomes equal to 1 half times, here we have 1 over m plus n, and the integral of the sine is going to be the negative cosine, so that's times the negative cosine of m plus n times x. And then notice when I integrate that, I have plus 1 over m minus n times, again, the integral of the sine is going to be the negative cosine of m minus n times x, like this. And then, of course, I still have the constant of integration. So plus c, we could potentially factor out a one half, uh, factor out a minus sign, or we can leave it like that. Either way, that is the result when we integrate the, the sine of mx times the cosine of nx, and that's how it's done.